Good afternoon, everybody, uh, and to reflect on what we have achieved today. And from my perspective, there is some amount of talent in this room. Uh, we saw it just so visibly today. It makes me very proud to be a member of this organisation. But let's get on with the thank yous. And the first thank you is to the attendees today. Thank you for being here. It is a huge vote of confidence in travel and in the ITAA. I want to thank everyone involved in what has been a lively day of presentations, discussion, disagreement, and most of all, conversation. And what I heard today is very much in the spirit of unity. We're competitors, but we're also allies, and we have very shared common objectives. With the establishment of the working groups and the energy and vision of new personnel, our industry has renewed its focus on the new world of travel and our place in it. But if we can move on to the thank yous, and I have to start with an apology. Because when I was talking about our partners and our supplier partners this morning, I missed out one quite significant and important group of people, that was tour operators. So to Dave, to Dee, to Amory, Sunway, to you, all the tour operators in the room, you know, at my age, you do forget things. But moving to the thank yous, Owen, our MC, incredible knowledge and talent. It's good for you to challenge us, uh, and we do need to reflect on our time to shine. Debbie Dale, where is Debbie? I can't see Debbie. <coughs> I see Debbie. I love annoyingly positive. I think glass totally full is where we need to start the day. I think the leadership piece that Debbie called out is critical. There was so much from that session that we were all busily taking notes on. Uh, it was just so good in terms of bringing up things like delegation. And also thank you for mentoring uh, that panel discussion. Uh, Kevin from the DAA, I think the honesty was pure bravery from the DAA. And I think he said one of the most important words, which is sorry, really, really good. Jenny, great to see new routes coming our way and back to kind of trading as normal. Uh, I also want to thank our hosts, Antonio, Christina, and Daniel. And one other person who uh, we need to recognize is, uh, and this is to do with yesterday, the, the new ITAA Director of Golf, Mr. Des. <laughs> For the working groups, Claire John, Mara Shields, Linda Jones, Maureen Delmar, Tom Randalls, and Claire Doherty, thank you very much. Great to have new voices and great engagement on the panel. Dimitri Crowley, Jackie Sheehan, Martin Skelly, Deirdre Sweeney, Owen again, and Danny, thank you for your input. And then we move to the ITAA core group. And please God, I don't forget anybody this time or I'll have to remember it in tomorrow evening's speech. I want to thank the back office team. I want to say a huge thank you to Pat, to Jean, and to Lorraine. We should also thank here the hotel staff who have looked after us, the audiovisual guys, and everybody who's looked after and catered for us all day. Um, in terms of other people, Laura from Limelight is here for the first time, Catherine Byrne, just due to family circumstances, is not here, but Limelight are constantly with us. And Dolan, we may not have heard from Anne today, but I know from my point of view, from your point of view, having Anne available to us through the year is just such a worthwhile piece, so thank you for, for being here with us again today. And coming back then to you guys, like, I hope I haven't forgotten anybody, but like, if I have, apologies in advance, but yes, thank you. There is one person in, who's not in the room who we do need to think about, and that is our customer. Because our customer is at the heart of everything that we do. And the summer of 22 has reshaped our relationship with our customers. As passports were delayed, security queues failed to move, bags went missing and flights were cancelled. They were confused and nervous, and we were there to help them out. I cannot think of anything that defines a travel agent like the experience our customers will have had from us this year. So when I spoke at the ITA last year, I committed to our mission to rebuild the industry and the service that we offer to our customers for travel in a safe, efficient, and financially secure environment. And that is exactly what we need to do in the lobby at 7.45. Thank you once again. Thank you all very much for your evening.